Welcome to Man That's Cooking! In this video, we're going to show you how to make pellet smoked turkey legs! So this recipe is basically a Frankenstein of all of the quote-unquote Disney-flavored turkey leg recipes. Yeah! I know y'all love some Disney turkey legs. So let's get started by making a brine, and that consists of one gallon of water, and we're gonna have a half cup of kosher salt and a half cup of brown sugar. Normally you would do like a cup of salt, uh, but we're gonna add a sweetener in here, and then we're gonna add some dried herbs. We're gonna add uh, some thyme, sage, and rosemary, and if you have fresh herbs, even better. But uh, if you don't, if you have dry herbs, that's fine. That'll work. Next, we're going to add some allspice, some paprika, nutmeg, and black peppercorns. And if you want all the measurements, because of course you do, they're at our website, manthatscooking.com. And they're also in the description of this video. So typical brines are just water and salt. This one has a lot of different flavorings, so it's sort of like a marinade. But because there's salt, it's gonna make the meat moist, and that's what you want on your smoker. You don't want any dry turkey legs. So when your brine is boiling, you can uh, put your face over it and open your pores. And then let it cool down and pour it into a container, and put the container in the refrigerator until the brine reaches normal fridge temp, which is like about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the brine cools down, it's safe to put the turkey legs into the brine. You don't want to put it into a hot brine because you're basically going to start cooking your turkey legs in the brine. You got to let it cool down. Have patience. Okay, so these are going to go into the refrigerator overnight, and that's uh, roughly six hours minimum up to 12 hours um, longer that you have them in the brine the saltier they might get so be aware of that so on the next day when you're ready to cook them take them out of the refrigerator and wash the turkey legs off in water get all the herbs off and uh, set them aside so it's pretty important to get dry turkey skin. Why? Because in a smoker, low and slow, the skin can turn out pretty rubbery on poultry. You can avoid rubbery skin by drying off that skin. For the quick method, you can use a paper towel like this right here. But if you have extra time, you would want to put this tray back in the refrigerator for another 24 hours. Your refrigerator has airflow and it will circulate around these turkey legs and dry off the skin within 24 hours, like magic. But if you don't have the time, you can use paper towels to dry off the turkey legs and then spray them down with duck fat. If you think about it, it's kind of weird to spray on molecules of a duck onto a turkey. But you know what's even more weird? A turducken. Yeah, just Google that if you don't know. So you can see man here is putting down some seasoning on the uh, turkey legs. He's got some paprika, some onion powder, some black pepper. And again, all of this is in the uh, directions in this video and also on manthatscooking.com. So it was mentioned earlier that this was a Disney-ish style uh, recipe and that was mostly for the brine this part right here has nothing to do with Disney and by the way I mean it's like KFC uh, secret herbs and spices does anyone know what the Disney recipe is if they do please put it in the comment section I would love to compare it to what we've got here but anyway feel free to put your favorite seasonings on your turkey legs Disney should not be the goal because, oh my, why should it be a goal, really? I mean, just, these are going to taste great regardless. 
Okay, so this pellet smoker is running at 230 Fahrenheit with applewood pellets. And these turkey legs are going to go on this top rack, which allows for a good amount of airflow. So this cook is going to take about three hours to complete, roughly. And these are ready at 175 Fahrenheit. Now they say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking got to keep that lid closed but hey if you're making a cooking video who cares you got all the time in the world so each hour you want to flip these over you want to spray them down with duck fat first and you're going to want to move them around based on the hot spots on your smoker now right here is why you want to clean your grill racks every cook look at this okay a, a wire brush doesn't cut it okay so don't be like man don't be lazy especially if you're gonna make a video for the world because I mean who does that all right it's the second hour and we're gonna spray these down again and this duck fat helps to uh, brown the skin kind of like a tanning lotion as if these turkey legs were at Miami Beach and man here is going to flip them back over and make some maneuvers again because the exhaust side of this particular smoker is the hot spot and you want to kind of rotate them around to make sure they're getting an even cook. After the two hour mark it's time to put in a temperature probe to monitor the cook and you want to set it to alarm at 175. And when you're getting close to temp you might want to do the uh, rotation again. Uh, it's good to know the hot spots in your smoker. If you don't already know that, you should look into doing the biscuit test. Another thing to be careful of is to make sure that you put these temperature probes into the meat and don't touch the bones because the bones are going to be hotter than the meat. Now when the alarm goes off, you want to use a handheld thermometer reader to double check the temp. Then you can make any necessary adjustments by moving any cooler turkey legs towards the hot zone in your smoker. But I can see you, your brown skin shining in the sun. You got your hair combed back and those sunglasses on turkey. And after the turkey legs of summer are done smoking, take them off the rack and let them sit for at least five minutes. Food. Food. Horn. Horn. Flyover! Oh golly, did he just say porn? That's, That's right. right! If you're not lusting for turkey legs right now, it's time to check your pulse. So get off your couch, hook up with these ingredients, and make this recipe happen. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our website, manthatscooking.com. We've got a lot of other turkey recipes and some pellet smoker recipes as well. Click like or subscribe or tell us that you hate us. We don't care. Go ahead.